Not a bad evening, and traffic definitely looks a little bit better than the past hour, Richard, that we've been watching it. As far as looking at a live look from our SRP Park Cam here, looking towards North Augusta, and of course the park itself, they are preparing the field for that game tonight against the uh, Carolina Mudcats. So Green Jackets continue that series tonight. We have a west-southwest wind at 10, and it's still 86 degrees outside, at least near the Bushfield area. So we're looking at temperatures in the 80s across the area still, and we'll see temperatures around first pitch, which is at 705, still in those mid-80s, and then we'll fall back towards the 70s for this evening before midnight. So you may be able to get away with no jacket tonight. A very mild feel. And the first 1,000 fans to SRP Park have a chance to get an autographed team photo out there. So definitely want to get out there a little bit earlier uh, if you can. Now less than an hour away from first pitch. As far as looking at the next 48 hours, it'll be another hot day for tomorrow. Warmer mid to upper 80s, but we'll see temperatures definitely falling off into Sunday. Only maxing out in the 60s for highs. And we do bring back some better rainfall chances as well by Sunday. But even tomorrow not going to rule out the chance for a shower or a storm. We're looking pretty dry on radar right now. We do have a severe thunderstorm outside of our area in upstate South Carolina and a few showers back north of Atlanta. But outside of that, we're looking nice and dry. We saw rainfall push through this morning in some areas, possibly picking up between half an inch to an inch, if not a little bit more with some of those downpours that did move through early this morning and definitely woke up to some thunder in my neck of the woods. As far as looking at radar right now and also our current setup, just watching this front that'll be moving through for the weekend and then stalling just south of the area, kind of continuing rainfall chances for us as we head into Saturday and Sunday. So we'll see that front move through tonight into tomorrow, giving us the potential for some cloud cover, but still should see a good bit of sunshine mixing in for Saturday. And you can see things do look mostly dry until we get later into our Saturday evening and night. And as we head overnight into Sunday, we'll continue to have to watch out for some of those scattered showers and potential storms. But by Sunday, more of just a shower threat. I will say that storm threat looks to be very low and no severe threat at all as we head towards your Sunday. And we'll see area of low pressure kind of right along that stalled frontal boundary as we head through Sunday, giving us those better rainfall chances. Tomorrow we could see a strong or severe storm kind of south across the southern CSRA. The main threats look to be damaging winds and maybe some hail with that. As far as how things could look though for Saturday, as we look at that evening outlook, you can see as we head closer to about dinner time, that's when rainfall chances do kind of come into play. So the first part of Saturday looks mostly dry, not really until we get later into our Saturday are we going to have to watch out for some of those hit or miss showers and storms and then more more widespread rainfall by Sunday, a lot cooler, and then we'll see temperatures back towards the 70s to near 80 by Tuesday and Wednesday. All right, Mikhail, thanks very much. You know, it's been about four months.